Hey guys, this is Dorchila here and welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are keeping well, right? Okay, so guys, um, finally I am up with my DIY video and yes, in this video I am going to, you know, I'll be showing you all some super easy DIY room decor ideas and trust me guys, all these DIYs that I've made are only under rupees 100. Yes, these are like super budget friendly DIYs and uh, yeah having said that guys um this video it actually happens to be in a uh, portrait mode apologies for that actually what happened is there was no one uh, nobody to you know uh, capture my video i mean all i did is by myself i had to struggle a lot i mean the struggle was really real guys um, behind the scene and I thought that you know I have been capturing this video in a landscape mode banira but then later while editing I got to re realize it that no it wasn't it was actually captured in a portrait mode and like I was all I was totally devastated guys yes um I want to share my behind the scenes struggle okay uh, what happened is you know um, I had to capture my video all by myself and you know what happened is while editing yes the editing part is like really tedious guys um, whenever we see any you know DIY videos on YouTube then we find it super easy right but it's not like that it's nothing like that it's like DIY is easy is not as easy as it seems or as it looks I mean like it is really a difficult task and I had to struggle a lot a lot these DIY videos it's actually hard I mean like we have to face a lot of difficulties while editing all right what happens is we have to record first of all film a video right um, then after that we have to record the audio and what happens while uh, you know editing is that it's like we have to make sure with the synchronization part i mean it ha we have to make sure that whether it's synchronized properly or not i mean the voice clips and the video clips as well uh, we have to make sure with all these things and it was really really a tough task for me i must say compared to all other videos that i've made in on my youtube channel so far this was the toughest <laughs> to be precise but anyway, uh, somehow I've like managed to, you know, uh, present them properly in front of you all. I hope, um, I'm pretty sure you all are going to like it. Not entirely, but a bit precisely. I hope you all are going to appreciate my hard work. Um, so yes, guys, also there is an interesting announcement for you all. And the announcement is that this is a surprise actually okay so before revealing the surprise let's do the countdown okay all right guys um so the surprise is that i am giving away all these diys to you all yes you heard it right so i have only made four diys now what you gotta do is you gotta rush I mean like whoever is going to come in down first I mean who needs what I am going to send them to you all so guys rush you gotta rush otherwise you'll miss this DIYs you'll miss such beautiful opportunity <laughs> okay also guys um, before the video starts please make sure to hit that big fatty like and also if you are new to my channel then please do subscribe as well all right uh, guys it would really mean a lot to me and also don't forget to hit that bell icon so that you don't miss any further updates of mine in the coming days um okay all right now without wasting any time let's watch the video so the first diy that i'll be making today is this water jar showpiece for which you will need an empty jar along with a duck gun and a glue gun as well also you'll be needing some uh, you know artificial flower petals or leaves and some tiny um, show pieces which i collected it from slime a double-sided tip in case the glue gun or the cellar tip doesn't stick inside the water a cellar tip yeah not to forget 
okay so yes this are the these are the materials that you'll be needing so without wasting any further ado let's start arranging them one by one all right so first things first start taping these leaves around it until it gets a flat base so as to paste it then with the help of glue gun paste the leaves now start pasting all these pieces one by one as shown with the help of a glue gun. What we will be needing is some water, half fill the jar. Carefully insert the pasted materials on the dhakkan and share. Yeah, your showpiece is ready. Also, you may cover the top with some acrylic paint if you want to. Well, I just thought of leaving it transparently because I will totally love this look. Okay, so this is the final look of a beautiful jar showpiece. Okay, so the next DIY is a wall hanging decor piece for which you will need is a yarn. Well, I chose this mixture of colors in one particular yarn. Also, you may go for two or three different or mixture, color, mixture of colors in different yarn. And the next you'll be needing is a wooden stick. This wooden stick are actually made by my uncles who are doing our home construction. I told them to you know make some uh, wooden sticks for me and they've made me this so also you'll be getting these wooden sticks in a stationery shop for rupees 5 or 10 now take a wooden stick tie a rope to the side so that it's easy to hang use clear nail polish to seal the knot then here comes the most important part tying each piece of yarn to the wooden stick this is how you have to do it for this knot first put one side of the yarn under the stick and then the ends through the hoop pull it out and then you will get a knot that looks like this so this is how you're going to do with all the pieces until it covers the entire wooden stick. I'll cut out the edges and you'll get something like this. Ta-da! Hang it to the wall and that's it. Guys, trust me, these DIY looks absolutely beautiful and add some color to the walls. Well, the next DIY that I'll be making is again a wall hanging decor for which you will be needing the materials such as a black glitter foam sheet or any normal black paper for that matter, a scissor, you'll be needing a pencil and a scale or ruler, a needle and thread, some beads, also you'll be needing a paper punch and some plastic straw. Okay, so this plastic straw I bought them way back. For some diy purpose only but then i haven't used them yet so i thought i'm using them today now draw a triangle randomly cut it out dress it on the sheet you will be needing around four of these now make hole on each side of the triangle do this to all the five pieces so First, tie thread to one triangle using a needle and thread. Tie few knots, then start adding all the bits one by one along with a glass straw or a plastic straw. Then take another triangle piece and tie them all together and yeah all the triangles should be facing downwards so this is how it looks adding few more beads between the triangles to the top I will add some bigger beads and a ring and yeah another idea of using a black paper or a black glitter foam sheet as a decorative piece well this is the final outcome and yeah such a simple and perfect 
decoration ideas it looks lovely on the wall guys okay so the last DIY uh, that it's going to be is this a stand you may call it a paint stand or a brush stand you can keep whatever you want what whatever items or materials you want all right so these are some stands that I made it way back and for this particular DIY you will be needing are an empty toilet paper roll yes and a scissor again also you'll be needing some washi tapes okay so now uh, what you have to do is choose a color of washi tape well i am going with this yellow color washi tape now start sticking around this roll until it reaches or until it cov covers the entire roll all right okay so keep doing so and next you'll be needing is a wastage cardboard sheet or a wastage card carton if you have at home you can utilize them as well and uh, draw a circle on it all right okay so my yellow color washi tape is insufficient so i had to add another color of washi tape okay so cut that circle now start gluing the bottom of the roll with the help of a glue gun and then paste it let it dry for a while well you can keep whatever materials you want to place inside be it your makeup brushes your pens or pencils whatever you want i mean guys i must see that you know this diy is really an easy peasy diy even small kids can make this diy so yeah you must give it a try i hope you like this as well